Hi guys, how you doing? I'm Greg and welcome to today's video. So I decided that I wanted to go look at camping trailers. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I kind of have this little dream that uh, one day I'll just be able to hook the truck up uh, to some portable little home and just take it wherever I want. So we're going to stop in at a local de dealership and see what they've got available. And I'd invite you to come along. Let's go. The manager was telling me that because of the pandemic, people are buying trailers and campers. He can't even keep them in stock. There are only about 10 trailers on the whole lot, and this is a good sized lot. This is so tiny. Look at this little thing. So it's kind of a Murphy bed. It just kind of folds up against the wall. And you've got a toilet in there. <laughs> you've got another door here. A little uh, stove, microwave there. A little tiny sink. And an air conditioner. <laughs> That's about all you need, right? There's a full kitchen on the outside panel of the trailer. Well, that's kind of cool. Big old day frame on that one. This one's pretty cool. It has a front porch. <laughs> Love this layout. I'm sitting at a table. There's a hide -a bed in the couch, a couple of recliners. Let's go back. Down the hall, probably a bathroom and shower. That's awesome. Nice and bright. And then you've got probably a queen size bed right in there. Little uh, dresser, closets, window, cupboards, and yeah, that is, uh, that's kind of cool. I like that. And I love this front porch. These are just under 30000 More money than I'm going to spend on one. But, boy, they are fun. Look how big and nice this one is. We've got here, here's the master. And bunk beds. Probably wouldn't use those. A little bathroom. Very nice. Pantry and the refrigerators. I like all these windows out to the side. It keeps it really open. Ooh. I like this one. I like the white. You got the white on the cabinets here. And then the dark appliances, uh, bunk beds again, and little bathroom area. And the master. All pretty much the same. Pretty tiny, compact, but they do it all. I'm going to run over to another lot, which is owned by a friend of mine, and look at some older trailers, which I kind of like uh, because they're a little nostalgic. Fun! <laughs> look at this. This is kind of cool. That's the refrigerator. There's 
here's the bed. This really takes me back to the time when I was just a boy and my grandpa had a camper on his truck and back in the day when seat belts weren't required we used to ride in the camper. We take these long trips from California to Nevada to Utah and I remember sitting up in the window of the cab and just looking out onto the highway as it came at us and we were dropping down into Las Vegas. As we came over a hill and crested, you could see all those incredible city lights of Vegas and I just thought, wow. There's something magical about trailers and campers. A really fond memory I have is when um, my grandson Greggy uh, was, oh, probably four years old. We'd just gone out one day just to have fun and we were looking through trailers. He climbed up onto the bed in one of the trailers and he was sitting there. He was amazed that there were fridges and bathrooms and stoves and sinks and beds in these trailers. He climbed up on the bed and was, was sitting there. The sunlight hit him just right on a little patch he had on his shirt. And when we got the pictures developed, it was just light was coming out. And he said, Grandpa, he said, that's my heart light shining. Aww. <laughs> it about uh, campers that uh, get guys excited. <laughs> it's like a grown man's little playhouse that you can pull behind your truck and take anywhere. That's kind of an awesome concept when you think about it. Well, you guys listen, thanks for watching and have a great day. Go ahead, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.